I'm going to show you how to make a multi time frame market scan with Pro Real Time. In this scan, we're going to be looking for instruments that have price higher than the upper Bollinger Band in a one hour time frame and volume greater than a 20 period moving average of the volume in a daily time frame. To do this, we go to the Pro Screener window, which can be opened from here Display, Pro Screener. Click the wrench key right here, and then we'll click New. I'm going to go to Simplified Creation to define my conditions. Click Pro Screener Conditions to set the conditions. I'm first going to click on the one hour chart, which contains the Bollinger Band. I'll select my first condition. Price is greater than Bollinger Up in the current period. Then I'm going to add a condition. Click on the volume chart right here. Volume is greater than moving average of 20 periods. That's automatically going to be this moving average of 20 periods on the volume chart. Match all conditions and click OK. Then I will define my sorting criteria as the variation from yesterday with the highest values first. I click OK. I'm going to select the market, NASDAQ All, and click Generate Code. This warns me that the screener uses conditions for at least two different time units and that the selection of period selector will only apply to the default time frame. For more information about that, you can check the Pro Screener help documentation, but it's not really necessary for the purposes of this video. The code is automatically written by the program. You see this part, which applies to the one hour time period, and this part, which applies to the daily time period. No conditions have been applied to the default time period, so this selector is ignored. You could insert time frame default, for example, here, if you wanted to change the one hour time frame conditions and make those be flexible based on the time frames here. I click here to execute my Pro Screener. Several securities are displayed. Let's click on this one, for example, and we see that, in fact, the price is above the upper Bollinger Band in the one hour time frame and volume is above the 20 period moving average in the daily time frame. I'm going to quickly modify this code to show you how easy it is to make the time frame flexible for this Pro Screener. I'm going to erase the time frame default instruction here, and I'm going to replace time frame one hour with time frame default. Now, this section will use the time period selected here for the Pro Screener. So instead of one hour, for example, I can select 15 minutes, click Execute Pro Screener. The check is now being done with 15 minutes. As you can see, price is indeed above the upper Bollinger Band here, and volume is indeed above the moving average here. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.